Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just want to say, people are... Like, there's no other way to say it. I posted my last video about a toothpaste that I found. Like, I'm super excited about it. I saw results like after brushing my teeth one single time. I got it from my friend Paige. She was selling it. I bought it from her for $23. And after trying it once and seeing my results after one brushing and two brushings, I had to be, like, I had to be a part of it. I had to share it with you guys. I became a distributor so I can, like, help other people get a smile that they like. And I got so much freaking hate. Sorry, I'm outside. So much freaking hate. Like, I had five different nasty messages from people about a damn toothpaste. Like, seriously, get a life. I blocked three of them. So, three of those people can no longer comment on my videos. Like, you can disagree without being an asshole. But if you're going to be nasty and say mean and nasty things, I'm going to block you so you can't come on video. I'm not going to support that shit on my channel. Um, and another one of my subscribers, like, they... I love them. They watch my videos. They like my vlogs. They comment on my vlogs all the time. And for some reason, they were full of hatred yesterday and saying um, they come to my channel just to watch family vlogs, stop trying to take their money and this and that, and that $23 is too expensive. I'm sorry, but for teeth bleach that I bought, I've paid more than double what I paid for this toothpaste. And with this toothpaste, I had better, faster, and easier results with a freaking toothpaste. Like, no mouth trays, no bleach, no peroxide, no none of that shit. Just a regular freaking toothpaste that you brush your teeth with. I didn't know it would cause such an uproar. So for that person, okay, if you just want to come to my channel and watch my vlogs, then watch my vlogs. Don't click on my other videos. And if you think $23 is too expensive for a toothpaste, then don't freaking buy it. Like, I'm not trying to get you to buy it. I'm sharing what I found that I like. I do that with everything. Um, another person was being nasty saying all I'm about is trying to, I'm always trying to take people's money and trying to sell stuff. Okay, Party Light. I became a Party Light consultant back in 2012. Literally, when Adrian's a baby, back in 2012. And I just recently got back into it. And I know a lot of people, people follow my channel for different reasons, jerks. A lot of people uh, come to my channel and watch my candle hauls and, like, candles, wax melts, those kind of hauls. So when Party Light has a sale, I share the sale so the people that are into candles and melts like I am can buy them at a discount. And I've had numerous people order from my Party Light because they already like it and now they know when sales are. Uh, I do first impressions and reviews on food. So what, if I try a new Oreo cookie and say that I like it, I'm trying to take your guys' money? Like, what? That doesn't make any freaking sense. A lot of people tune into my channel for my eating videos. A lot of people tune in for grocery hauls. So if you're here for just vlogs, watch just vlogs. You don't have to be an ass and say mean shit when I post something that's not a vlog. Just watch the vlogs, don't click on anything else. And for everyone who says all I'm trying to do is take everybody's money, uh, Party Light's the only thing that I would even make money on if somebody ordered from it. I shared Jaclyn Hill highlights. I just shared where I found them at the best price because if somebody wanted them like I did, they didn't have to pay $24 a piece. They could buy a trio for like $28 or whatever it is on QVC. How is that me taking somebody's money? That does not go to me. That goes to QVC. You buy it from QVC. I have no connection with QVC. I'm just sharing things. Like I have a couple more products that people love and buy from Sephora and I found them cheaper on QVC that I was going to share. So yeah, sharing this toothpaste. Okay, big whoop de doo I just became a distributor and can sell toothpaste. But other than that, the only thing that I would make money on is if someone ordered for my party light. And I don't push that on anybody. I share when sales are. That's all I do. Like I said, I do reviews like on all kinds of products when I do my empties I tell people if I would repurchase or not repurchase so what that's me trying to take people's money too I mean get a life people love to hate people will find any reason to hate on somebody like they need a life you people need a life you need something to do to make you happy it's not my fault you're miserable and as far as oh somebody left a comment saying something about my whole leave a tip in the tip jar um youtube came up with a support button a blue button that's on there that you click to support their channel whether however people word it you can use your own words so people put you know uh making donations to my channel helps support my channel with buying lights and excuse me products to do reviews on okay i worded mine different and said something about leaving a tip in a chip tip jar you know like when you're at a restaurant so you be offended on your receipt if it has a spot to leave a tip because you think they're trying to take your money i mean think about it people I know it's only a handful of you, and I've had quite a few people already order my toothpaste because they want a wider smile like I did. So it's not that. It's just where do you people get off thinking you know something about somebody? So yeah, I worded it different because I thought it was fun. Like when you go to a restaurant, someone gives you great service, you leave my tip. I've had so many people that got help with my toothache, my toothache video, like how to get rid of your toothache until you can get to a dentist. 
I've had three people in the past week leave a tip in my tip jar because that video, I don't know if it's from that video or what, but if that video helped somebody and made them happy and gave them relief over the weekend, they left a tip. Like, what is the big deal? If you don't want to leave it, then don't leave a tip. I really don't give a shit. It's just on there. You two put it on there. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know why there was such an uproar with that video. But like I said, I blocked three people. So now there's three people that can watch my videos, but they just can't comment. And, um... Yeah, if you don't want to watch products, then don't click on that video. It showed what it was about, so just watch my vlogs. If you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe, but I'm not going to change my channel because a few people don't like what I have to say. You want, you click on my video, I get paid. You comment, that puts me at a higher rate to get paid. So right there, you're helping me get paid. So quit bitching that I'm making money. Like, what the hell? So yeah, as far as party light, I'm a consultant. I sell those things. I share my sales. A lot of my followers like candles, like wax melts, and like sales. Why is it the end of the world? Toothpaste, like I said, I found this toothpaste that within brushing one time I saw results. After brushing twice I saw results. And you can only get it through distributors. So I became a distributor to help people get a wider smile. Like, what is the harm in that? Other than that, no. Anything I share, you buy it at Ulta. You buy it at Sephora. You buy it at the grocery store. You don't buy it through me. So I'm not trying to take everybody's money. I'm not all about trying to sell stuff to you guys i share what i like and what i don't like it's part of my channel it's part of what i do i do this i've never once got sent anything i've never got sent one thing to share with anybody anything that i've shared i've bought it with my own freaking money so it's like i'm being sponsored or paid to share things and give false opinions i share things i like and i tell you things that i don't like that's my opinion if it helps somebody find a nice toothpaste to whiten their teeth instead of paying 50 dollars for white strips that you can't even use because they hurt your freaking teeth like i don't understand so if you haven't watched that video, you can go check it out if you're interested in finding a wider smile. Um, and just show some love. Quit finding reasons to hate. If you're that miserable, all you can do is follow people. Chow Bella, she has a huge channel and she posts like she goes suffers from depression. So does Trisha Paytas. And for some reason, whenever they post their videos about their depression and like trying to talk their way through things and get through a moment that they're having, so many people are subscribed so they can jump on, hop on, jump down their throat and just cut them down. Like kicking them while they're down. Like who does that? People like that seriously need a life. You need a hobby. You need to find some happiness in your life instead of being an asshole to other people just for fun. So yeah, like I said, if you don't, if you don't like what my channel is then unsubscribe. If you only want to watch my vlogs, just watch my vlogs, but don't bitch when I do other things. Cause that's what my channel is. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and leave a heart in the comments just to show some love yeah, I'm sorry if this offends people. I'm over it. I'm over people being nasty to me because they don't agree with something. If you don't want the toothpaste, don't buy the toothpaste. If you don't like candles, then don't click on my party light sale ads. If you just want to watch vlogs, watch them. If you like my eating videos, watch them. No one's making you do anything. It's a free country. Do what you want. And quit being an asshole about everything. So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you're tired of people finding reasons to hate on anybody for anything. Leave a heart in the comments just to show some love. And subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. I have a wide variety of videos. Check my playlist. They're all broken down to playlists so you don't have to sort through. You can find, you want to watch candle hauls? Click on the playlist with candle hauls. You want to watch grocery hauls? Click on that playlist. You don't have to watch any other stuff. It has them all filtered out for you so you don't have to see anything else that you don't want to see. And yeah, if this offends you, then go ahead and unsubscribe because I really don't care. I'm just tired of being talk nasty to because somebody one well it was five people oh and as far as the tip thing i had three people in the past week that left a tip lana i think that's your name from australia uh mitch from he was from england and then barb from the united states so obviously i did something in my video that either made them happy or helped them find a product or got them some relief with something so they left me a tip Big freaking deal. I love it. I'm glad I can help people. I'm awesome. It's awesome that people support me in what I do. And if you don't like it, then don't click on that either. But yeah, I'm over it. I'm just, if you need nasty comments, I'll block you and you just can't comment. Like I'm not going to have, I'm not going to let people talk crap and be nasty to anybody. If you're nasty to one of my other subscribers, I'm going to block you too. So yeah, I thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.